on to the honorable mentions for our i guess favorite anime series of the year and it doesn't you don't have to say like a long spill just like you can just name the series and then if you want to elaborate you can elaborate but um Rigel, if you want to give us your anime honorable mentions please honorable mentions okay this is very tight and could be it depends on what you guys list of saying but i have um three honorable mentions that i had to fight with spiritually physically <laughs> mentally <laughs> um, <laughs> i was i was having oh i was like rod i was doing today when i was doing some work i was thinking let me just check the list again maybe i can sneak it on maybe <laughs> if i just pretend they won't notice that i added the sixth and seventh <laughs> anime to the list <laughs> but for me surprisingly police pod or police inner pod i don't know if you guys um heard that it was an anime original that came out this year uh, so enjoyable um it's basically viewing um office life and kind of like somebody's experience with her getting into work um being promoted a job that they didn't feel like they were going to really enjoy but somehow they met with good colleagues and you just go on many adventures uh, many different sorts of situations and it was just a very engaging series for me something that was very different and something that i had not really experienced before it's not it's like unusual anime for me to pick up it was so odd out of the blue and it captured me from the very like initial moment it had a little bit of mystery in it um sprinkled in like a lot of good things going for it um another surprise um for me was Komi can't communicate part two um th- the crazy thing is i don't think once said boo the, the crazy thing i didn't think i enjoyed the first season as much or maybe like maybe the couple episodes to it ended i didn't enjoy as much so i wasn't really anticipating enjoying this series but since i'm the type of person if i've started something i kind of want to see um, what happens you know i've invested a lot of time and surprisingly it was very wholesome i love the comedic bits they they had me belly laughing in some moments especially when you got to um, know a lot of the other casts in it and i think this season did a great job in really fleshing out some characteristics and aspects of the other cast that were super engaging and you can really get that their personality type and what makes them them and what makes them tick and even though i was trying to you know me like i'm trying to move away from this school animating because it's been getting hella boring and repetitive i don't know how but this season they just they did something different with it and lastly i'm going to quickly mention two um Locoris recall it deserves to be in the top five but you know like i said it's tight, man. It's, tight. it's tight and the case of um the case study of anita's part two Ooh. it's tight it deserves to be it deserves <laughs> but it's tight but that's but that's my honorable uh, mentions like I, i'm probably going to change my mind after this like, recording i'm gonna be like okay <laughs> swap it up <laughs> but it gets like that mm. Any any comments on Rogel's honorable mentions? I feel I feel the call me one. <laughs> Aye, that's love. That's love. Yeah, I'll withhold my comments about Komi San. Uh, I just want Komi hater. Komi hater. I'm being respectful. I'm being respectful. <laughs> I'm being respectful. Wait, how, did, how far did how far did you get it to call me? I watched the first season and then I left. Said I said it's not for me. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> To me, I started getting disillusioned with Komi because I read the manga. I, I I got pretty far into it, and then it started. It started, you know, empty calories. Yeah, yeah. Because uh. <laughs> Reggie talked about like the fleshing out of the characters, I was like, don't get used to that. <laughs> Bro, don't break my heart. <laughs> don't break my heart. I have high expectations now. I'm I'm eagerly anticipating. Um, the next season <laughs> hmm. they, they're gonna do good for a while but after a while it just starts to get like all right we need Oof. to we need to go forward with something hmm. okay then well Sasuke let's hear your honorable mentions all right all right so I got basic picks first uh Komi-san that, that's on here uh 
you know reggie already had good reasons i'll just say you know i, I love this this cast bright colorful um you know i think what like one of comey's son strengths is that it has so many different characters that um it just hits you with multiple personalities so even if you dislike a character you're gonna find some character that you like in comey son um and that you're gonna have fun with so you know every episode is just like this this mixed bag of like who, who's gonna show out this episode so um that's their bag uh, my dress up darlings and my honorable mentions have fun with this anime um i was happy with what the anime did because i've i've read this manga um th this <laughs> people like my dress up darling for the wrong reasons but it's actually it's actually wholesome and it's actually an uplifting story about you know chasing your hobbies and not really caring about uh what people have to say about that you know what i'm saying don't get in your own way uh good, good series and then the other honorable mention incomplete right now but chainsaw man uh i like seeing the community's reactions to every episode being a manga reader is fun uh episodes what was it six seven eight it's been fun seeing how people react to it um yeah yeah chainsaw man is just <clears throat> it's a wild series especially for a series that's been a sh uh, shown in jump and it's not good enough to be in my top five but it is fun those are my honorable mentions mm. good list good list okay ed what's your honorable mentions yes i'm even surprised i got enough anime to put in honorable mentions i can't lie to you that's how little i watched this year which is sad but <laughs> the honorable list first is um chainsaw man and chainsaw man is amazing as a manga reader as well i think I read it so long ago because I didn't complete the manga because I was like, okay, I'm going to wait for the anime to come out because I just know this anime is going to be good. This story is going to be good when it's animated. So it's been a long time. So watching it and remembering stuff, I was like, okay, this is really cool. But at the same time, I haven't fully copied the anime as well. So if I copy, it might be on the list. But it was, it, was, it was good fun. And the opening slaps. I do my little jig every time. But the first time I watch it on, it skips the opening. Because it just like assumes that I don't want to, to dance to this, to this amazing that song for music. I turned it off with quickness. It's like, no, 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 no. Come back. I need to, I need to vibe. So, but Chainsaw Man is good, man. The characters are amazing. And Danger's the main character is just hilarious, man. I love that guy. Um, but yeah, that's one of my hungry mentions. And second one, my surprise, um, you guys, especially Daniel and Michelle, but it's Blue Lock. Oh. And, and no. Oh. And, uh, Blue Lock is, is amazing, but um, it's the same thing. I haven't fully copied the anime yet, but what I, what I watched was 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 good. It's, it's me and Rochelle's baby, man. We've been, we've been talking about this series for the longest time. Um, but the anime itself specifically is it good. I love that, that and the, the animation hits, the storyline. It's like, it's, it's a good adaptation. I'm going to be more happy. I just need to keep watching it, but it's... It's it's good. Sports anime getting the shine it deserves, and it just makes me happy, man. It just makes me happy. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. I'll be respectful about Blue Lock as well. Being, <laughs> being peaceful. But, uh, I'll do my honorable mentions quick. So I got Demon Slayer season two. A uh, great season, wow. um, but I have to. I can't let the hype blind me. But episode ten, one of the best um, anim animations I've seen in my time watching anime that was i think that was probably the peak of hype i've ever experienced um <laughs> licorice recoil kind of same reasons as Rajel. it's a great original but i mean i had to i had to get shifted so um and then dance dance dancer this is um this is a great show i think it tackles a lot of good themes but um like i was saying earlier i like to Put enjoyability in there and i think it's a great show but i didn't really enjoy it as much because of some of the things that happened not that they were bad it's just um bittersweet and i kind of like to have happy endings so that's why i put honorable mention and then the last one 
Raven of the Inner Palace. It's a um, great series, fun series um, tackling the politics inside the Chinese Inner Palace and kind of put some mystic elements in there. It's not finished yet, so that's why I didn't want to put it on my list. But it, that's kind of a contradiction because of some of my other shows, but it's what it is. That's a healthy list, I can't lie. Good honourable mentions on there. Thank you. I, it it kind of pained me, some of them. I wish I could have put them there, but, you know, that's the, it's, it's the decision making, you know. I have to be decisive. So, okay, the order we're going to go in, actually, now nah, yeah, we'll do the find order. So, it'll go Rigel, Satsuki, Ed. So, we'll do our fives and then fours and then so on. So, number five, Rigel. Let us know. Number five, the one and only anime original i think i might be wrong who knows call of the night no yes, that's I, not I, anime I actually, original it's manga <laughs> oh i see i lied that's what i said possibly because you never know but call of the night thanks for giving me the heads up not okay. an anime original i might be I, I was clearly lying to you keeping you guys on your toes you have to you have to be sharp when you're listening to us you have to be sharp <laughs> yeah. call of the night um was an anime i thoroughly enjoyed i enjoyed how vivid the colors the the like how majestic and uh, magical experience just viewing it was um storyline um a young man or a young boy just struggling with insomnia struggling with um being comfortable in his own skin um kind of rejecting normal life and being awake and alive at night but everything about this um to show just kind of grasped me from at the very moment i there was nothing that i had you know i hadn't, I hadn't really sp- experienced something like this previously and I think that's what kind of captured me and really had me invested. I was really always looking forward to seeing these characters and how they interact and how f- funny and entertaining, but also the, just the depth in kind of storyline in terms of like the underlying tones that were just going through, um, the struggles that certain characters were going through and stuff like that. But yeah, elite, elite settings. I enjoyed it so much. Watch it. Yeah, Koshanda. That's a, that's a good, that's a great show. The directing in that show, Elite. Um, I think you were saying in the other episode which about the whole color, color palette and the, the um, colors in the scenes I, f- I agree I, I think it's um, very entertaining kind of a different take on vampires and stuff so yeah good show good show thank you sir thank you <laughs> Zatsky you're up next alright my number five is Spy X Family it had the benefit of having uh the two cores be this year so you know where most anime have like their 12 episodes 13 episodes spy family is going to have its 24 i think um and then and you know with with that um because it stays a consistent series uh with the comedy uh, with the action and everything it's just a fun series um I think I think Ta- Tatsuya Endo is like one of the most unserious individuals because why do we have a spy and an assassin and a mind reader girl and a, a, a future a, a, a future dog like all together at the same time it's 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 just the uh, the model of convenience but like I said it's it's pure fun it's pure fun every episode usually either has me on the floor laughing or um rarely it pushes a story but when it does it's, it's it's always fun to watch so yeah spy family my number five lovely um my number five is kotoro lives alone um this one was a was low key a surprise for me can't lie to you uh, um because i didn't expect much from it well, just something like, no, I'm going to watch it and see how it is, you know. Everyone's in this cute. I'll give it a go. And I was pleasantly surprised. The characters really hit. It wasn't like a groundbreaking anime or animations or, like, crazy. Like, it was just a, it was just a cute show, and it, it really hit me emotionally. Just the relationship between the main character, Kotaro, and Shin. 
um, basically the guy who's looking after this kid is a kid living alone and it's just the connections that he has with people and how mature he is for his age but you later realize he's that mature because of the kind of trauma he's experienced um, in a short period of life which is kind of amazing and I think it just hit home it, hit home. it, was, a, it was an enjoyable watch and I can't wait for more more seasons from the show I think Rizal, you said you've did you say you've watched um that Kotor show? Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely watched it. After it, so I co-signed that as well. It was very uh, elite, uh, very enjoyable. And do you know it's it's an odd show because like do you know when you see the blatant suffering and the blatant kind of um tra- underlying like trauma like that's been hinted at yeah. but then there's still enough banter to have you laughing <laughs> and you're confused yeah, yeah. you're like this is kind of awkward i don't be laughing now like <laughs> this yeah, this is suffering but you just can't help but laugh yeah 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 it's just the way the kids say stuff like <laughs> that's funny but oh it's not really funny is it it's not it's not funny <laughs> <laughs> this is coming up from some deep stuff so yeah it's just that that kind of i don't know but they do really well though like they balance the oh this is funny you should laugh at this but at the same time, you need to think deeply, like, why is this kid who's, like, so young reacting like this to so many different things, to so many different people? Like, why is this kid so mature? Why does he speak like this? Like, everything Gotcha does as a child is linked to something. The way he speaks is because of a cartoon, and why he watches that specific show is for a reason. It's just, it's very well put, and it was just, it just hit home. I just, I just loved it. And there's something about that, um, that father and son or daughter viewing experience that I've always just find enjoyable. Um, and in this one, he kind of has a, like an adopted father mm-hmm. figure who <laughs> is somebody who actually shouldn't be a father, but <laughs> somehow <laughs> it just ends up working and it's like really wholesome. And I love that kind of wholesome um, aspect, man. Yeah, yeah. It's a really wholesome, wholesome anime. Definitely watch it if you haven't watched it before. It's really good. No. I'll try and check it out if I can. Okay, my number five is Hila Girl. So this show is basically about, it's kind of set in a similar setting to our real world, only that they can use music as a way to treat um, certain diseases and um, certain um, conditions as well. And what I I like about this show is um, just the way they've managed to mix um, music with medicine and how kind of accurate they kept it as well where you still need to understand like the pathology of the disease um, understand about um, how you would the types of medicines you need to um, treat diseases like the pharmacology aspect as well and then also understanding um, that it's not just enough to have that just vocal treatment sometimes you need to go the traditional route as well so I liked how they mixed um, those two elements and also each episode they had like a really um, engaging musical number which um, looks really great visually and sonically as well. I think that was the main reason why I put it on the list just because of the music. I feel like it was one of those shows that really utilised its strengths well and I think if you haven't seen it already you can just check out the, the music clips because I think every musical number they do it's just spectacular honestly that was one every monday i was there i was like yeah i need to watch this so great show that's why it was on my number five position but we'll move on to number four and we're back at rajel oh it's me so it came around so quick mm-hmm. but of course i'm ready as always ready and loaded for my number four <laughs> tomodachi game on oh my days stop it guys don't get too excited don't, the hype is real don't i know you're fainting but don't faint grab grab some tea as i, I always do and sit down and enjoy this special view in tomodachi game and um, intense is what I, what comes to mind intense um crazy just stupidity even wait even after this actually i do have some qualms with this because I'm not gonna lie, one thing surprisingly made my list like this because one thing that was mad was the um, English translations that I always used to watch. And the way, because they'll say so many things so swiftly, 
there'll be so many translation and, and then there'll be also translating the music and in the back and now i'm confused because i have to pause the thing to read am i am i viewing a, man, a, a, a manga like am i watching a manga <laughs> it was so long i was like what's this but it still had me coming back because it was lit it did have a lot of like exposition sometimes just to um you know create the scene or show you the intelligent plays that was happened the higher Q stuff which in some um, other series has not really done well um i think they did a splendid job job in really putting those kind of really deep exposition scenes where people just go on and on but in like strategic times when you you're kind of being hinted slowly and then ta-da let's explain and you're ready for the explanation you know what i mean i i love this show man every week i was excited is this show went so quick when i viewed it mm. on oh god it finished in like five minutes less than five minutes i would watch it and it's done and i'm like oh my days i can't believe i finished it a couple episodes i had to repeat straight away immediately because i was in shock oh my days can, you can hear from my voice how excited i was about this one that is lit man watch it I'm not gonna lie, I didn't watch it because of the the visual had that it had that child. I don't know, he was looking like some gremlin. So I was like, I'm good for that. But uh, he was scary still, <laughs> yeah, with his yellow hat and uh, the dungarees. <laughs> nah, man, he was looking like one gremlin. So I was like, mm, I might be good off that. But from the way you're describing it, it seems similar to Darwin's game. Very similar. Okay. Very similar. Uh, it has that kind of aspect where it's like. Um, that game kind of scenario life or death um high school friendship values mm. all those kind of stuff but also has that kind of mind games manipulating other people you don't really it's weird because like they the more they keep revealing about certain characters like sometimes generally you feel like you're establishing an understanding of who they are and what they would bring and how they react and then of god they've been hinting at it but off guard you're now trusting that this is their character but even though they've been hinting other stuff slowly and slowly but like surely this is their character then bang and you'd be like oh my days what happened and it, you'd be hit left wing right wing mm. all the crosses crazy okay mm. sounds like a thriller but we'll move on to Satsuki for his number four and um <clears throat> I never thought I would have this anime this this low, but uh my number four is Attack on Titan, the final season part two. Oh. I don't I still don't know why we broke it up like this, but <laughs> it, it is what it is. Um it's I, I love I love this arc. Um and while I have my gripes with uh Mappa, I think they at least did Attack on Titan well. You know, some people have like complaints about the CGI and everything like that, but um, as a manga reader, they adapted this arc pretty well. I really don't have any issues with it. Actually, it's, it's one issue I have, but I ain't, I'm not even going to mention it. I ain't going to mention it. But um, yeah, as far as like moving the story forward from where they left off, uh, you know, Aaron's whole thing. I won't go into it just in case somebody still hasn't watched it, but um, the whole rumbling, uh, the the civil war between uh, the factions and everything. It was a lot of exciting things happened in the season, and I feel like people have had to be reminded that this happened this year because it happened very, very early into the year. Um, I think yeah i think it started in january so yeah um lots of different developments happen with the season um i was satisfied that's why it's my number four that's fair that's fair but for me you see i even i remember iot but my the experience i've had this just um i don't know i blame mapper but i don't blame mapper because i understand why it takes long but of doing the final season in three different parts is just it, I, uh, I'm just tired man yeah I was gonna say that was a bad move 
I think it it's not even necessarily like how they're breaking it up. It's the fact that they called it for the final season exactly. and then said, let's do three parts to this. Why would you so do this that? season four, man? <laughs> I would have been prepared. Facts. If it said season four, I'm like, cool. But you said final seasons. I was like, okay, cool. Then they said part two. I'm like, I can wait. Then you're saying part three. I said, yo, hey, you're, you're actually boying it now. So like, I don't even care yeah, if part yeah. three's coming out now. <laughs> they sold us dreams <laughs> sold us an uh, absolute dream i thought by now would have finished the series exactly. and do you know wait don't don't get me pissed because do you know how long remember how many conversations we've had about oh and i've said these exact words i'm gonna wait to, before i read the manga um because you know it's, it's, it's gonna finish soon it's gonna finish soon <laughs> i'm still waiting i'm vexed <laughs> <laughs> Nah, so, a little bit of spoilers. Attack on Titan is not my list at all. I'm really just because I, I I stopped it. I, I took a break, sir, because I was like gonna like I'm gonna wait because I'm tired. I am tired, man. It's just I don't understand why they broke it up. Everyone's everything's been said already, but Attack on Titan is just it's such. Why am I tired of one of my favorite series? I don't understand why I'm tired of it. That's just what's vexing me. But it is what it is. But yeah, going up to my number four, I have it's a bit it's lower than expected. I think this anime had. An unfortunate um, year to be released in. Even though this year wasn't that crazy, but the amount of big names returning and stuff like that, like like highly anticipated shows coming up, is summertime rendering. This was a pleasant surprise, and it came out of nowhere because I was speaking to Daniel, as always, and Recommendation King. I'll keep saying it, and he's just like, "Oh, have you seen this?" I'm like, "No, you need to watch it." And he knows how to push my not push my buttons, but he knows how to get me hyped. He's like, "Oh." I think it does this better than than Zero. I was like, huh? So one hundred percent, one hundred percent. We should please. start, but one hundred percent. We know your hatred for Zero. Let's let's. But um, Daniel was like, yes, yeah, it does this aspects better than Zero. I was like, okay, immediately interested. But I wasn't like even giving it high hopes. It's like, let me see what. Let's see if if Daniel's done. Let's see if it's not tripping or not. But I watched it and it was I was pleasantly surprised. We spoke a lot about this anime in lens before so i won't bore you too much but the characters and the storytelling and the interweaving of characters it was just it's just amazing and uh you no know, restart of life thing oh, i can't lie it's better than zero zero has other aspects that makes it a great anime but specifically when it comes to like death i'm coming back and restarting this 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 just makes a lot more sense it's more structured it's more understandable and it's just an enjoyable watch man i didn't want it to finish it was, it was it was it was really good it's 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 a shame it's like this on my list but yeah to be fair another day it might be higher but it's, it was it was it was really fun and that's what's important i had fun watching this and especially because i didn't expect it and it just like broke every expectations i had for it so it was it's, it's a win-win i enjoyed it and i think thank you daniel thank you you're welcome i'm glad <laughs> glad you enjoyed it it's just always uh you know you're always a bit wary when you throw out a show to someone because you know you're putting your rep on the line but it seems like <laughs> you you had a good time which is all i yeah. can ask for you don't you don't have to worry about your rep man it's never going to be broken enough I've, I've watched too many shows because of you and i liked it so yeah hey man you never know i might still miss you <laughs> but <you know. laughs> I'll, I'll do my uh i'll do my number four so this is um jojo part six stone ocean and i know um i don't think most of us most of you guys have watched this so i'm gonna keep it quite vague but um yeah. i think it really this was like the second and third cause so i think these parts of the it, it kind of just continued as it went along i thought the first part was quite solid and it's kind of continued on with the stand battles they've been really creative you can see how Araki has become more confident as he's developed the whole stand format and Jolene as a main character I didn't really think I didn't realize I was gonna like her as much as I did and right now she's she's kind of in a weird position where I feel like she's she's number one but I haven't watched the other ones in such a long time so she's she's number two but like she's an elite main character I love her so much and the ending had me feeling so it was a it was a it was a good ending i, I feel and i i'm not gonna say too much because i'm trying to keep it vague but solid series and that's why i put it at number four so Rigel, you know we're back for number three number three it's only right i start with 
Bam bam, a cheeky cheeky bam hey. bam, a cheeky cheeky. Are you mad? Anthem tune of the century, because he came from a different century and we're brought to the twenty first. Oh, do you know I have bars like that sometimes. The flow just you have to after you watch this show, and that's your boy, Kong Ming. Oh my days! I actually thoroughly enjoyed this, and I'm not somebody who has real um, attachments to shows that are very musical, and it's not something I've ever been fully into ever. I think this was probably my first real show where I had uh, not. Mm, it's like at least my third show where I've had real like a musical element mm. being at the forefront of like the storytelling and just the aspect of um reincarnation fate and using um such an old um military kind of strategy to um fight in a, in the industry a music industry it's just such a weird dynamic and i think that that dynamic is what really made it enjoyable because like just seeing the contrast between the day and age of one person to the other but how certain aspects are you can just meddle together and you know certain things can work regardless of the time period the vocals were always elite the songs always had me <laughs> had me dying the one thing that i've talked to daniel about before <laughs> is the rapping <laughs> hey i was about to say the, the rapping. you know how i feel no effect so hey. let me be quiet <laughs> hey daniel don't don't start <laughs> they'll catch you they'll catch you <laughs> hey the rapping hey let's just say let me just say it's it, 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 it. let me not comment still <laughs> Comment. but the rapping is wild sometimes <laughs> but generally speaking um i enjoyed the characters and um, getting to know all of them and watch them trying to tackle this uh, music industry uh, and stuff like that man elite, elite show i loved it hey yeah, man cosign cosign that, that show is it's just fun it's really fun it's great fun it's great fun but that's the we're going to you for number uh trez all right, so this one has the potential to go higher depending on exactly how it ends. And I didn't watch the latest episode, but my number three is Mob Psycho season three. This, like out of all all the anime I watched uh, this year, I think this is the most satisfied I've been in terms of like payoff from previous seasons. Like everything as far as like Mob's development as a character, uh, what he's been progressing towards um, some of the stuff with Tomoe because I didn't really care about Tomoe until this season um, like they fleshed her out more as a character like you understand her a lot more uh, the stuff with Dimple oh my goodness uh, they like they just been they moved at a great rate with this season because nothing feels like it's, it's wasted time um but at, at the same time um they're not going you know they're not going at a breakneck pace or anything like that it's just been it's been riding smooth no issues every episode has been quality uh i've just been so satisfied with the season and it could end up being my second favorite or even my, my favorite depending on how the last episode goes so just in terms of finishing an anime out because from what people have told me this is going to be this last season Mob cycle has been phenomenal. Mm, cosine, cosine. Ed, we're here for you. Number three. Number three. Um, this one, I think this is the only anime that I didn't that didn't come out this year that I watched. It's just a uh, old one I just caught up on. And it was early up in the year. I was making the list. I almost forgot about this. Like, wait a minute. I think I watched Slime this year. And Slime, we, we've made like a whole a whole video about this already on, on YouTube go check it out please if you haven't already but Slime was just it was amazing I was delaying it people were saying go watch Slime go watch Slime the hype was too much and when it comes to people having stuff too much like oh, I can't come down I'll watch it in my own time just to be stubborn I guess <laughs> but I finally did it and Slime was amazing there's so many reasons I can give to you why this show is ama- amazing but I think one thing that really hit me just now actually just listening to where everyone talk is that the characters in slime are so so good there's so many characters in the show 
and I care about so many characters. Like, so many characters. The main character is amazing. Like, we know Tempest is a, a great main character, but there's so many other characters. Gopta, Behemoth, like, so many other characters. I'm like, wow. The, how this, this anime handles the other characters and the relationship everyone has with with Rumi himself and each other, it's it just it's just good. And it was a it was a fun watch and I was just glad that I finally got the chance to catch up to it. And yeah, Slime season one and two, I watched it in the same year this year and it was it was it was a fun watch. I loved it. Mm. And before I give my number three, I just wanted to ask uh, Satsuki on his thoughts on Slime. Um my relationship with Slime ended the first season. Oh, so 19, I believe. So I have no, no thoughts. Was there a bad, time. was there a bad divorce? I need to know. No, it wasn't. Yeah, actually, it, no, you guys actually didn't have kids. Wasn't. There was no kids involved. <laughs> no this payments was, uh, overdue. Was, Child support you know, doesn't need to. <laughs> I can, I can still see the kids on the weekends. It's, you know, it was, it was a pretty clean breakup. It wasn't anything bad. It's one of the, out of everything I dropped, it's one of the better ones that I dropped. Like I thought about going back into it because of the, hype people were having for season two mm. but um you know when i was watching it uh i was one of the things that hurt my experience for slime is that i was talking about it every week on a podcast and uh at least for me my perspective during that time i didn't like how it was moving episode to episode um so i i just i just got tired of it. i was like I'm, i don't know why i'm still watching it because i'm not I'm not actually like super invested in it anymore, so oh, I just funny. ended up dropping it. But it, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at yeah. all. Think about it though, to be fair. I think if I watched it week to week, I might not have enjoyed it as much because the binge watch was just smooth. And I don't know whether season two there's some characters uh some episodes got a little bit too not too political, but a lot of like talking. And it's almost like a repetition of like we know this already, you know the problem in this in this world you've built, why you keep like emphasizing it over and over again. So I feel like if I watched it like episode to episode, it might be like a drag. Um it might be like the One Piece experience that One Piece is just for me is just not watchable week to week. I don't know why people even suffer that. But when you binge it, it just elevates it. So I think slime was that for me. Just watching like from season one to season two, part one and two was just smooth and I loved it. That's my son Gabby Roo. That's my son. Yeah, Gabby was. <laughs> but you get to visit on the weekends consistently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Despite the divorce. <laughs> well, I, I would recommend you to watch it again now that's like everything's out. There might be a different experience binging it. If I if I ever stop being washed with anime, I probably will v- revisit it. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that's a that was some good tangent. Good tangent. I know you, I heard you dropped this. I just wanted to hear some of your extended thoughts on the subject, but uh, I'll do my number three quickly. Um, this is Made in the Abyss season two. I think I spoke about this about earlier in the year. Mm. Uh, is low, because you were hyping it. It's it's low, but it's technically kind of high. If actually yeah. no, that doesn't make sense. It's in the middle. <laughs> but, I mean, okay. So why I put it in this position is because um, I think it continued as it went on. It was consistent um, in what it was doing. I really liked where the story went, where we're exploring, continuing that aspect of the series. I mean, yeah, series. And also the characters that were introduced. You kind of get introduced to this one character and you're like, oh, why are you moving like that? But by the end of the season, you're just like, you actually... You de- you've developed this attachment to that character and then I feel you you feel um emotionally bonded and then I, again I can't I'm trying to keep it vague so I won't elaborate further but I think it did well introducing you to this new cast of characters in the um new level that we explore and then Fapsa in I think it's episode 10 or 11 she has this speech that OST oh my days that OST was going crazy and the voice acting was insane like the cadence of the voice the way she was switching from like kind of a deep tone to um raising her voice slowly and it was it was in perfect rhythm that that scene was just amazing and it was just like this is what Maiden Abyss is you've got the horror you've got the the thriller you've got the drama yeah great series man I hear the passion, man. 
Jeez. I got chills. I didn't. When she gave her speech, I damn near wanted to jump in the screen. I was like, yeah, <laughs> we're we doing this for FAFTA. We slide over FAFTA. Facts, man. Yo, listen, if you guys, whenever you get the chance, if you get the chance, made an abyss, make it to that season two, just for the speech, bro. Just for him. That voice actor, man. She needs accolades. Number number two, Rajel, you already know. Number two, we're back again. Oh, well, this one, I think it's only right that sometimes you get a little bit romantic, you know. Ooh. Occasionally, you want to experience some some love in your life, some ultra romance. Maybe Kaguya summer. Love is war. And this season, you know me and Daniel have, have been following this season and prior seasons. And this one was so special because we actually finally saw growth. We come see growth. Maybe the other um, season they lied about the love, but this one they did not lie. There was no cap, no no caps were capped. Everything was fully out and exposed. Transparency, the love. I oh my days. It was vibes, man. One of probably my best viewing experience. Just um, seeing characters that I've grown so dear to, and characters that you know. You can just you're so captivated by their development and you're so eager for them to um you know do what they need to do to become together even though sometimes i do be hating sometimes i'm like hey you know just just go and cheat <laughs> just, just just go and go and watch somebody else but no yeah this this season was magical um the finale oh my days uh, that was an experience to say the least a lot of a uh, drama a lot of things that kind of came together and had you know just made the the confession or the the moment where you have they had some sort of clarity between their feelings so much more like triumphant and shout to chica always being being a queen nah we're not shouting around man politician's daughter (laughs) politician's daughter (laughs) corrupt Oh my days. Oh man. Uh, Alright, so my number two is exactly the same. Kaya Sama season yeah. three, ultra romantic, you know how we move it. Yeah. Listen, they had they had all all my characters. Um I was I was so satisfied with what happened in that season. They put a lot of respect on Hayas Hayas Hayasaka's name. Um and especially Shirogane, I was so surprised at how much because Shirogane was in this place where, like, no, Kagi is my favorite character, um, and I love Shirogane, but I didn't love him as much as the other characters. But by the by the finale, I was like, yo, this is the Eisen level intellect I've never seen the likes of. <laughs> I was like, this, this, this is this is how you do it. <laughs> this is how you do it, man. I was, I, I've. I had had to completely change my outlook on Shirogane. I was like, yo. He, he was he about it this season, going. man. He was actually yeah. about it. He really went for it. I was, you know, I was flabbergasted by that finale. But um, it, this series, it gets, it gets you with uh, the deadlock of the relationship. And I think a lot of fans worry about when they start the series, like, are they really going to go somewhere at, at, at any point? Is it just going to be one of those things to where by the end they'll get together? But um, this season kind of alleviated those thoughts with this finale. Um, yeah, it's, it's not a series to where you, you have to wait all this time for them to have some progression because it gets you with the whole gag of them, you know, not confessing and everything. But um, once it actually gets serious, Kaguya-sama is just, it's hard to beat it, especially week to week. Um, comedy, the characters, the progression of the stories, all, all top notch. I wish I could, it was my number one for a long time until something else came, but it's definitely worthy. Yeah, I think I know what the number one is, but Ed, take it away. Yes, sir, number two. Ah, number two might have been number one if one thing didn't come out this year as well for me personally, but number two for me is Demon Slayer. Ooh. Season two. 
And what, what can I say? I think uh, I was struggling, like thinking about it. It's like, was it that good? Then I watched it again. I was like, yes, yes, the fuck it was. It was so good. Characters and season 10, just um, episode 10, sorry, just, hmm, it just pushes it that much further into the top of my list. And Demon Slayer is, is generic. People say that a lot. It's, it's like, you know, but like we say every time, there's nothing wrong with being generic, man. This show is amazing. No matter what anyone says, the animation just seem to have unlimited budget. I don't understand how they can make it look so clean. And story wise, it was actually decent as well. Like I was just recovering from Rengoku, um, Rengoku and they hit me with another another emotional ride, man, when it comes to the backstory of the of the villains and the antagonists with Daki and Gyoturi, it was really good. Then, <laughs> then my, my, my boy Tengen, my flamboyant king, was doing his thing, man. That guy was just, it was it was it was a fun experience, man. From start to finish, I was just enjoying myself. I couldn't. It was one of the shows I watched like week to week, and I I, <laughs> I was excited to go back to it every single time. I think that's what made it so high for me as well. Because I was like, yes, give me more, give me more, give me more. I need more, I need more. And I've I've come to truly love the series, man. I think this shows to you when someone like if they care about your if the animation studios care about your your favorite manga no matter how simple it is or no matter how straightforward it is very showing in you, you get to enjoy it man it was just a it was a it was a fun experience the storytelling was there animation was definitely there and the characters were doing what they do man you know it was just a it was a fun ride mm, i co-signed that that was yeah a really great experience you can tell you photoable are passionate about the project and they, they love, love the to project see it. man exactly <laughs> they love the project yeah it was fun i kind of wish they were back on fate though but you know it is what it is <laughs> but number two i've got mob cycle 100 season three um kind of for the same reasons as um Satsuki said earlier um but i just wanted to add that i feel um kind of like a completeness with mob's arc where in this season i can really feel how he has um grown over the past two seasons that have come out how he has changed how he's more confident in himself how his approach to things is different how even with the fitness right man he can run properly he's um built up some stamina and all of that is just um it shows how one has taken into account the uh, passage of time when it comes to these stories and i feel i can really feel how um, time has had an effect on the series and how Mob and all the people around him, how he even has friends that he can consult. I love all of those aspects and with how this final arc is um, looking to shape up, I feel it's going to be one of the most emotional of the series. So hopefully it can continue to finish strong, but I placed it at number two. And now the top spots, the number one seed, Rajal, what was your top one anime for this year? The moment of truth, the elite of the elite, Champions League football. People can act who actually bring it home. You know, the World <laughs> Cup finalists. Who would actually bring it home? I finished. <laughs> Summer time rendering. Mm. Oh my days. Come see magic. So come, I was gassing this series up. I think every week I was like captivated by how well a show can be written and how well elements in the show especially time travel can be actually done in a way that makes sense and <laughs> with a character that does it justice who <laughs> like is very complex and doesn't cry every time even though he does show emotion he does react to his trauma that he's feeling but doesn't it's not overwhelmed that a certain youths that i'm not going <laughs> to mention on certain shows that i'm not going to mention but let me leave that there because if you didn't watch this you have to watch it 25 episodes of um absolute greatness um a storyline that will have you thrilled and captivate captivate throughout characters with depth that are unique and just kind of draw you in and just show you they feel so real like they feel so real and a villain that <laughs> a villain that is it's kind of scary 
and pulling the strings, doing doing their thing, and showcasing what a, a real show can be in terms of pulling you from one end to the other with that sci-fi element but still doing it in a way that is suspenseful that suspense is um you know you feel that a lot and i don't know there's i was just lost for words pretty much and there was no other anime that made me feel this way this year there was nothing that um had me thinking about um i need to watch this or when is it coming out like just eagerly anticipating for my weekly watch yeah it, it was special man I, I re-watched some episodes multiple times during the season like i couldn't wait physically i couldn't wait i would watch it like three times during the week i loved it man high praise high praise Jasky, your number your number one Come on, man. Come on, man. Made in Abyss. Come on, nigga. Look, you gotta you gotta fall into the abyss. Made in Abyss season two. You already know. Fab to li- listen. I was surprised I was surprised that Choco had it uh that high on this list. I didn't know Choco Choco liked it that much, but um I think this was like the perfect adaptation. They've been doing made in abyss so good every season the movie the first the first season because they don't they don't miss any type of beats with the story because i i read the manga they don't they there's literally almost no holes in it like the only thing they miss out a little bit is a little of the lore that they have in uh like the end of the chapters but this season animation voice acting ost high level top notch um just phenomenal season um i I, the crazy thing is i didn't really even feel like too much for fapta when i the first time i read it but i don't know what it is with the anime (laughs) that that speech it did not move me in the manga like that in the anime like like choco was saying with the voice acting and everything it was moving me i wanted to jump in the screen and i wanted to i wanted to i wanted to be i wanted to beat their ass too i didn't even have no beef for them but that speech was moving me like that they were they just i i, I don't know i forgot the, stu- the studio name that does this but it seems like they they really have a passion for the series because they they stay locked in and they don't they don't have really any flaws that you can really pick apart with the series like if it feels like they truly have a passion for animating uh made in abyss um and it just ended at a good place so Oof. anybody who has not read watched made in abyss you definitely got to check it out just to get to this season because it's, it's some high quality stuff it's horrific and it has some questionable scenes but hey <laughs> hey yeah. you gotta you gotta live by it no i need to finish season one i'm not gonna lie to you i i, st- I don't know why i stopped watching it i was enjoying it it's just something i kind of forgot about i, f- I feel like it, it improves from season one i think the movie is better and then i think season two is better than the movie so yeah. it, it, it improves every season for me yeah once you start watching like consistently i think you'll find it hard to put it down with you so don't worry yeah but my yeah. time is coming yeah, of course of course <laughs> mr ed um yeah i think i need to i need to watch made the best as well no the art style the way it looks i was very skeptical but the way people talk about it I'm like okay there's no way it's not good like this, there has to be something good in there, so I need to give it a watch because the way people are talking about it, I don't want to miss it. Um, but number one, <laughs> number one, people might call it a cop out, people might say it's not finished yet, you know. But I'm sorry, this show, this show is him, Hemuti. It's 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 him, and that's it's, it's Bleach, it's Bleach, oh, okay. mm. it's Bleach. Uh, I don't know, it was just the uh, intense emotion that filled with me when I was watching like the very first episode. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> my baby, it's been so long. I was so happy and I've, that emotion hasn't left my body since the first episode. 
I flew up and it's, it's just at first I should have maybe waited a little bit to decide if it was going to be it was going to be my top one anyway but we're like only like what eight nine episodes out but still it's big to my wife what else can I say no, people haven't heard of before but the, I think what's making it my number one with the most things is probably that nostalgia uh, maybe a little bit of rose tinted glasses but it's 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 bleak man what can i say is it's really good the characters i love they're back again the storytelling is back again and the thousand year blood war arc man i have my problems with it <laughs> we've talked about it in very great detail me and me and daniel but uh and Rigel, but but yeah man so far so good the anime is hitting the animation is good and i can't wait for more man i'm excited excited to be a bleach fan right now mm. I was a. Uh, I wasn't surprised. I was um surprised by that pit, but I respect it. I respect it. Bold. Yeah. I respect it still. <laughs> okay, and for me, uh, I think you can probably guess it's Kaguya, uh, Sama Ultra Romantic. Sir, uh, great third season. I feel the seasons have already continued to improve. This was probably the funniest season f- for me, I believe, because that episode number five with the rap normally i don't really i don't really rate Jap- japanese don's rapping but listen <laughs> ryuki had me on the floor <laughs> listen that was him and chica they went back to back they were flowing i can't lie i was like mm, fair enough man you guys are you're doing your thing after it but honestly what i think made this season great was it hit on the comedy and the serious notes and you see that combination there I don't think it's hard. It's, it'll be difficult to match Kaguya on its bad day, but that's this was Kaguya on its best day. So I had to pay a number one. And that Elite was, choice. Exactly. Elite choice, bro. Elite mm. respect. Thank you. Okay. So that was anime. We're going to...